In this video, I will show you how to create a third person character using Paragon assets. Before we start, make sure your project is a third person character project. Create character blueprint. Create a animation blueprint. Select your mesh and load the skeleton mesh of your character. Load your animation blueprint. Create a game mode. And load your character blueprint into the pawn. Go to world settings and select your newly created game mode. Go to character blueprint. Add a spring arm, add a camera, attach it to the spring arm. Position the character to fit into the capsule. Rotate the character to face the right direction. Position the camera the way you like it. Change the target aim length to 500 for further distance of the camera from the character. To move the character, copy and paste the move nodes from the default third person character blueprint into your own character blueprint. To add animations, we will create a blend space. Horizontal axis will be our 360 degrees, minimum axis minus 180 and maximum axis 180 which makes 360 degree rotation. We will do increments of 45 degrees so we will need 8 grid divisions. Vertical axis for speed is from 0 to 1000, it will have 4 grid divisions. Add idle animation at bottom left, middle and right is the same animation for all axes because it's idle. Next is run animation. For both left and right sides we are going to use backward run animation at 500 speed for the first intersection on the left at 135 degrees we will use backward left run animation for the 90 degrees we will use left run animation and for the 45 degrees we will use forward left run animation for the middle at 0 degrees we will use forward run animation then apply the same logic for the right side and after you are done with the run animation do the same thing for the sprint animation at 1000 speed in animation blueprint in anim graph create a new state machine inside of it create a state called locomotion and in it add your blend space. In the blend space change the name of horizontal axis to direction and vertical axis to speed. To drive the animation in your blend space we will need to create a functionality in the animation blueprint. By getting the velocity and direction of our character and storing them into variables which will later drive our animations.
Now connect the direction and speed variables to your blend space in your animation blueprint. Next, we will create the jump mechanic. Add jump event, add jump node and play animation montage. To make the animation montage play, go to animation blueprint and after the state machine, add a default slot. Add on landed event and play landed animation. To add a falling animation, go to tick event and add on falling boolean condition and connect it to a new fall variable. Go to animation blueprint to character blueprint, get the full variable and assign it to a new variable inside the animation blueprint. Go to an in graph and create a new state for the fall. Use the full variable as a condition for transitioning from locomotion to falling. Add the full animation. To fix the ability to constantly trigger the jump, add do once node in the beginning of the jump event. From the on landed event, add a delay node and connect the output from the animation montage node to the delay node. Connect the delay node to the reset in the do once node inside the jump event. This way, you will be able to jump again only after the landing animation has finished. To fix the ability to move during landing animation, create a boolean variable, call it move, make a condition in the move events using the move boolean variable, disable the move variable after the do once node in the jump event, enable the move variable after the landing animation is over. To create the sprint mechanic, just add a new sprint event and if you don't have one, create one from project settings, input section, get character movement and change max walk speed to a thousand when you press sprint and change it back to 500 when you release it. We already have the blend space set up for our sprint animation so everything should work perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this new format that I have been trying out. One last thing, if you want to have a smooth camera delay when you rotate your camera, you need to go to the spring arm and change the lag settings.